On Spotify, there are tens of millions of tracks that have been streamed fewer than 1,000 times over the past year. These streams would have generated $40 million in revenue for small artists. Spotify's figure, link in the description. But from 2024 onwards, these small artists don't matter to Spotify. Spotify will steal their money and give it to big artists. Yes, your rightful share is distributed, among others, to Taylor Swift and Ed Sheeran. Each time someone streams a Taylor Swift song, it earns her around 0.4 of a cent. Her song, Cruel Summer Alone, with nearly 1.4 billion streams, has earned her around $5.5 million from Spotify. And now she gets a share of small artist money on top. Clearly this is wrong. The specifics are that unless a track has had 1,000 streams in the past year, the artist won't get paid. Their money will be taken and given to the wealthy. Let's put some figures on this. Suppose one of my tracks gets 999 streams in a year, one short of the threshold for payment. It would have earned me around $4. Not a lot of money, but it's mine and I want it. Suppose I have 30 tracks on Spotify. That's not unreasonable, over three albums. Suppose each gets 999 streams. I get nothing. I should have received $120. I definitely want that. We're still talking about fairly small money here, but in total it amounts to $40 million. That's Spotify's figure. $40 million that small artists are getting ripped off. I have a solution. Legislation to make Spotify pay properly. Legislation has happened before and it needs to happen again. It has already happened in Uruguay. Legislation to put into law the, quote, right to a fair and equitable remuneration for all agreements entered into by authors, composers, performers, directors and screenwriters with respect to their faculty of public communication and making available to the public of phonograms and audiovisual recordings. Unquote. Spotify's response, pull out of Uruguay. Well, I can tell you they can't pull out of the whole world and some country needs to be the second to legislate in this way. USA, come on, you can do it. I have an alternative that I still don't like, but I feel would conform somewhat to Spotify's wishes. Instead of making payment depending on each individual track, it should go according to the whole of an artist's catalogue. 1,000 streams per year wouldn't be unreasonable. In fact, it would give small artists an incentive to produce better and more popular work while not being too high a bar to surmount. Some money, though, will still be stolen. Hey, about instead of giving it to the rich, what about offering a share of it as a reward for artists who have newly broken through the 1,000 streams threshold? Come on, Spotify, you can be loved or you can be hated. Which do you want it to be?